Hey guys, welcome to Voice Bootcamp. My name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. Thank you for joining this session. In this uh, presentation, I'm going to, uh, which is called Plan Your AWS Certification and Career. I'm going to give you information about uh, AWS certification, its future, um, the path to become AWS certified, whether this career is for you or not. Now, a lot of people have the have concern whether they want to enter AWS or they want to start an AWS career or not. So this is just going to help you a little bit of with information that you might be useful for you to make a decision. So, uh, you know, go through the videos and you might find a lot of information here useful. So, so let's get started. Now, a lot of people have been asking me about uh, AWS and whether it is a right career for them or not. So what we're going to talk about in this is, uh, is, is we're going to give you an introduction about who, who we are to get you guys understand the, um, the company we, we are, or, you know, what we provide and where we're coming from, followed by what is AWS Web Services. Then I'm going to show you career opportunities in AWS. I will give you some example job description, some live data so that you can make your own decision. Uh, we will talk about the type of AWS certifications that you have and what they are used for, followed by certification benefit and what jobs you can expect with an AWS certification. Then we'll talk about which AWS certification to get first. A lot of people make a very serious mistake of choosing the wrong certificate at first time and they spend money and then they don't they become certified, but then realize that they're not getting a job. So our goal is to help you understand the, uh, that particular part. Now, how long does it take to become AWS certified? I know how long, a lot of people have a very unreasonable un, um, expectation. They think that just by doing one course or two course, they're expected to get sixty dollars to $100,000 job. If only life was that easy. We will talk about uh, which cloud platform you may want to choose, whether it is Amazon AWS or Microsoft Azure or Google. Then it will give you an idea about how you become an AWS certified if you do decide to go in that path. Followed by live demonstration, what you might be doing on AWS certifications. And then live, how to build a data center in a cloud. So that's a live lab I'm going to show you uh, on in these videos. And finally, which will be uh, talk about job search assistance. Like one of the things that we at Voice Bootcamp does a very unique job uh, search um, program. And I'll explain that to you how it is uh, a trending way of finding jobs in this current generation. Then I will give you a little bit uh, idea whether this is for you or not. You know, a lot of people have this question. I have no idea IT background. Is it for me? So I'll try to give you some uh, heads up on that as well. Find out why you want to choose Voice Bootcamp and to, in, uh, to start your career because we have a very unique program that does not exist anywhere else in Canada. And then, of course, whatever the AWS training packages that we have. Now, uh, Voice Bootcamp, which is a Canadian and US-based company founded in 2006. We are located in physically in Toronto, Canada as well as, as uh, USA, Las Vegas. We're actually located on the east end of Toronto, uh, Scarborough. And we have satellite location in Dubai, Singapore, Bangkok, Bangalore, and Spain. So we are providing training all over the world. We are not a small, we are a small organization, but we're not a, uh, we're a global organization. We are well presented throughout the world. Uh, our global site is voicebootcamp.com and our Canadian website is voicebootcamp.ca. Voice Bootcamp started in a basement in Toronto uh, in 2006. Uh, we're out of necessity. Uh, this was our first data center, as you can see. Uh, these are two, our two first students who graduated and become a Cisco CCIE certified. And now we are a uh, in a very larger scale, uh, I mean, quite a medium sized office, we're 3,000 square feet, we got seven classrooms, we got tons of equipments. We have a full fledged data center that runs 24 7. And not only that, all of our students have access to this data center 24 7 so that they can learn and practice even at midnight or two in the morning. It doesn't matter if anybody is in the office or not. So that is one thing that nobody in Canada offers you. 
So let's uh, give you a little bit about me. My name is Faisal Khan. I am the CEO and founder of Voice Bootcamp. I've been teaching um, uh, voice Cisco collaboration training for the last 18 years. We started AWS as well. Um, I have been involved in Microsoft and Cisco technology for the longest period of time from Windows NT 3.5 and Cisco Call Manager 3.5 as well. Um, I founded the company Voice Bootcamp in uh, both Canada and USA, but it is right now operated all over the world. Prior to IT jobs, I, I was a security guard. And uh, as, a, as a high school uh, graduate, college dropout, I was just doing a security guard building security UPS, uh, building Highway 407. All, all I was doing just acting as a low uh, paying job. Now, uh, from the advantage of security guard is I got a lot of time to study. So what I did is I was studying at night shift when I was working all the, most of the time at night. And daytime I was studying or taking small courses to become who I wanted to become. It took me about six to eight months to become a, a Microsoft engineer at back in 1997. And then since then I've been doing an IT. Uh, I have been the author of 10 different Cisco uh, self-study books. Uh, these books are sold on internet worldwide and they're ranging from price $800 to close to $1,200 each. Uh, people from India, Nigeria, uh, South Korea, Hong Kong, uh, US, Canada, all over the world they purchase my book. And I'll give you some idea about why they spend so much money buying my book. No, I'm not a bestseller. No, I'm not a uh, novel t uh, storyteller or anything. But I do provide a value that can change people's life. Now, we are an international training company. We offer training in Canada, which is our head office. We offer training in USA through our, we are a large uh, training pro one of the large training provider in USA. We provide training in India, uh, Bangalore, Delhi, in, uh, Hyderabad, and then of course we have provided training in Dubai. These are our major locations, al along with um, Spain, uh, Singapore, Thailand, Madagascar. We have been training in Malaysia, uh, Mauritius, countries, you name it. Anywhere they ask me to go, I will be flying right there. So Voice Bootcamp also trained the U.S. Air Force uh, and have been training the U.S. Navy as well. For the last three, uh, four or five years, we have been training with various uh, partners. Uh, we have been provided Cisco collaboration training to U U.S. Air Force in London base. We also provide U.S. Tra uh, Navy training in, um, I believe this was uh, Virginia, if, can, if, I, if, I don't, uh, if, I, if I'm correct. So yeah, we are, we are actually well known. We're not just a small organization in Toronto, government approved, blah, blah, blah. We are actually an international organization with a real world experience. So enough about us. Let's talk about AWS. What is AWS? AWS is a Amazon Web Service. They started out as a cloud service back in 2006, I believe, or the seven on that time, where they provided uh, hosted web services for companies to manage their web pages. So they provide a platform in a building block so that you can build a data center based on those blocks. So AWS, what it does, it allows you to save you, uh, you from building your own data center in your office, rather you build it on the cloud. As you know, the internet speed has become a very uh, phenomenon. People, it's cheap nowadays. So you can have one gigabit connection and access data in a no matter, in a, in a, in a speed of a light, for example. Now, apparently AWS is anywhere between five, seven to 10 times larger than the next nearest competitor. Now this may or may not be 100% accurate, but they are definitely the largest cloud provider at this moment. Now, Microsoft and micro, uh, Azure and Google Cloud are not very far from them. <coughs> but AWS currently has a biggest market share. <coughs> Cost saving. Um, AWS, one of the biggest advantages is that you only, you, you only pay for what you use. Now, Voice Bootcamp, I have moved my company's website from GoDaddy to AWS, and by simply moving that to AWS, as a, a small organization, I am saving close to 1700 US dollar a year. Now, hey, 1700 US dollar a year is not a big saving. Uh, I, I get that. But imagine a companies like CIBC, Royal Bank, Verizon, 
uh, AT&T. These are multi-billion, million dollar companies. How much savings they can have if I can save $1,700 a year? Uh, AWS is a highly scalable and adoptable. See, if I want a data center today in Toronto, I can create a data center in a matter of five minutes. If I want a data center as a backup in Mumbai or in Singapore, I can do that also in a matter of five minutes. Yes, I can build a complete data center in Singapore without even flying there. This is what the powerful about the cloud environment. And it is secure and reliable. So by default, pretty much everything is blocked from accessing AWS services. So you as an engineer have to learn how to give access to people who need to use those services. So what is why AWS or any cloud is becoming so powerful? Think about this. This is a traditional data center computer room. Now to host this data center, you need a lot of physical devices, right? So that costs money. And every two year, three year, five year, you have to upgrade those devices because things get upgraded, right? So there's a money involved every couple of years because you're going to have to uh, upgrade your memories or sub, uh, CPU or whatnot. It requires 24 seven power and not only one power source, you need to have a multiple power source. So if in case one goes down, you have a backup. So you're looking at a multiple grid coming into your data center, cost, uh, costing you more money. It provide, requires air conditioning to cool this air, uh, data center, right? And air conditioning ultimately costs money through electricity. So you want to maybe, you know, you need to be able to provide enough a, uh, cooling power so that these uh, servers don't go uh, you know, nuts in, the, in, in, in general uh, terms. You have to spend money to upgrade the equipment, the software, and many other things. If you have 500 uh, services running, chances are that you may have to upgrade a lot of services just to stay up to date with the technologies. There is a replacement parts cost. There is a dedicated room required for you to set up this network as well. So not only it's going to cost you money on the equipment, but you also need a room which is also costing you rent. So all these are huge, huge uh, expense for maintaining for a small to large or even enterprise enabled web uh, companies. So where does the AWS comes in? I can build just like something like this. Like let's say I want to build a data center with 20 server. I could do that in a matter of five minutes. Of course, if, I, if they're all combining that they all have the same config. I can add server or services in a minute or so. So if I want a new server, I don't have to call Dell. I don't have to call IBM to place an order, wait for shipment, and then unpack the shipment, and then upload it to my server, install the operating system, do the other configuration. I, can, I don't need to do any of them. All I have to do is click make a couple of clicks and I will have a server ready in a matter of two to five minutes. There's no upgrade cost on the infrastructure side because Amazon will take care of it. So as a company, I don't have to invest money on hardware. Like I don't have to buy uh, server support. I don't have to buy patch. I don't have to buy upgrade every three year or four year. All is included in AWS cost. For operating systems such as Windows, Linux, I don't have to pay for license. Amazon will take care of that. Now, anybody who work in IT, they know that licensing is one of the nightmare. No power. I don't need to worry about any power, uh, electricity, because Amazon is taking care of that. I don't have to worry about air conditioning. I don't have to worry about a computer room either. So you can see the huge, huge amount of saving, potential saving for a company if they utilize the AWS properly. Of course, they get they get to they get pay they get to build they get built by users, but that's where our us engineer comes in to help company decide how to build uh, how to um, efficiently use those services. Now, back in the 2013, when AWS Web Service unveiled its certification program, uh, it's five years or less, AWS certification has become a very very popular because the average salary has increased for 30%, followed by an average salary in the market is 113 to $152,000 a year. Now, obviously, those numbers can be sometime up and down, depending. Uh, this was back in 2013 um, uh, outlay. If you go to Google, uh, indeed.com website, 
under Canada and you search for AWS Cloud, you will see there are uh, a job with a salary estimate starting from $70,000 to up to $150,000 salary range. You could not even get that in a master degree from any university had we not have any proper certifications. So, you know, to get a master degree, you might have to spend like four, three to five years of your study time. Well, with AWS, you can achieve most of them with the one year and then spend another two years of working to be able to get $150,000 job. It is quite easily doable. And of course, you got to be very good at what you do. If you go to Indeed USA and then search for AWS Architect, look at the job search starts from $100,000 to average of $145,000 a year. And you can see, of course, uh, AWS Security Architect making anywhere between $100,000 to $141,000. And it does not take you long to become an AWS Security Architect. What is important is that you learn how to use this product properly. You have some sort of, you work a training environment that gives you the data hands-on experience. That is what more important. Now, with AWS certification, it can help you build credibility because you're certified, right? And it's not easy to become certified if you do it properly. And to be able to certify it and be able to do the job, you must do lots of practices. So with AWS, it helps you build credibility and build confidence by validating your experience. Companies around the globe already know what AWS is. So they already know that if you're certified, that you are probably qualified person. So what are the certifications that are available? Well, first of all, you have certification called uh, fundamental uh, AWS knowledge of AWS practitioner, a cloud practitioner. This is very basic. I would rather just ignore this particular certificate. It has not much value. However, if you want to start a career based certification, then you want to start from this level right here, associate level. You have architect uh, uh, certification called Solution Architect Associate. You have SysOp Administrator Administrator Associate, and th then you have DevOp uh, Developer Associate. Once you become an associate level, then you can go one uh, next step, which is called becoming a professional Solution Architect Professional, DevOp Engineer Professional. So people start to look for job uh, when it comes to this level. Okay, that is where the uh, your entry to intermediate level jobs will be focused on. But mid-sized, mid, -sized, mid uh, in intermediate to senior level job will be based on the architect level. The, and then once you become a professional or even associate, you have a chance to specialize in a certain area. So you can decide to specialize in networking. You can decide to specialize in security. You can define to specialize in concept called big data which is database related. If you are uh, talking about Internet of Things and you want to create machine uh, program, you can go into machine languages, uh, which is like artificial intelligence. And then you have something called Alexa build a skill builder that are related to uh, various uh, development tools required by Amazon Alexa. So you have the options to become a whoever you want to become based on different areas within the technology. So the benefit of AWS is that it is uh, validate your skills and knowledge. It gives you possibility to hike in a salary. It increases your chance in the job market. It shows you that you're committed to your IT profession. Chances of getting hired increases drastically because there's not enough people certified right now. And therefore the demand is high, supply is less. It opens the door for new job opportunity and it makes it completely IT gig. Well, kind of like that. These are some salary, uh, uh, like a title you can search for on Google or job search, and you'll see there are ranges of salary between $80, $81,000 to $160,000 or even $165,000, depending on which role that you have. Now, of course, these are just a standard, um, but they, it, they may vary depending on the location. So, uh, which certificate to get first? So I always say go all the way to the highest level. So aim big, but start small. 
So you want to start right at this level. But a lot of people, what happen is when, you, when they look at this chart, they look at a solution architect as being the first certificate. And what they do, they go for solution architect and then jump to solution architect professional, assuming that that's not next level. But what they don't realize, guys, this is an architect job. That means you are, you are, that is assumed that you are already experienced in IT. If you don't have four to three to five years of experience in IT, solution architect is not the path to go because that is for people who has experience on various data center infrastructure who can provide solution to customer. Well, if you don't have an experience, how are you going to provide a solution or what solution you're going to offer? You never worked in the field, right? So it is, imp it is important that you choose the right certification. So what we suggest people to do is focus on this certification first. Why? Because this is where you do day-to-day -day administration and maintaining your infrastructure. This is where you do support. This is where you do implementation, configuration, and so and so. After you do all this, then you go into developer associate so that you can learn how to automate all these services. So automation is very important as well. After that, then you go to solution architect because at this level, you should be able to start look for a job and start to get uh, some uh, entry to mid, mid level job. And as you have a as you get into a job, you start to become continue your study until you reach the certifications all the way to the professional level. So how do I become certified? Well, first of all, to become a certified, you got to do some AWS training. Now that training, you can do it either by yourself on your own at Udemy or Amazon website, or you can tra take training at a schools like Voice Bootcamp. So it's totally up to you. Some people are good at self-study. Some people are good at taking classes uh, from training. So there are read as many multiple AWS white papers, documentations that are available, prac join a study groups, do all sorts of practice you can, um, you know, because it will help you become more expert in that field schedule exam and then write the exam at any certified location these are how long does it take it depends like average associate courses as amazon advertise that each one of these certification takes about 25 hours to complete but at voice bootcamp we spend about anywhere between 24 hours to 40 hours to complete the same level of certifications now, these are associate level certifications and then you have professional level certifications. So you need to decide which one you want to focus on. But the total time it will take to achieve all these certification, for example, you're looking at, looking at about 240 hours approximately. Now, if you divide that by 40 hours of study time a month, you're looking at about four to five month or six month of study time which is a reasonable because hey you can't expect to get a job just by studying 40 hours that's just ridiculously impossible and industry is not that stupid and you need to really have solid stuff on your skill set to be able to get a job now it doesn't mean that some people are not lucky some people are some people might just get one certificate and who knows they might get a job right away but to be realistic, that average people, it will take you at least 240 hours of study and preparation to be able to get a good level job. Now, why which one you select? Like I said, Amazon right now, it is the lead in cloud, but Microsoft Azure and Google's are also picking up. Google is dominant in search market, so it's easy for them to push their soft uh, solution. Microsoft, though they may not be dominant in the search market, but they are already at the customer site because these days everybody use Microsoft Office, everybody use Outlook email. So Microsoft is already in there. All they have to do is sell, uh, add those additional uh, products to the customers. So to show you an example of how you uh, uh, log in and create your AWS, I'm going to go to uh, AWS website. Now I'm logging into my AWS website. Now let's assume that I want to build a data center in Singapore. So what I want to do, I can select from my region. I can select the Singapore location, Asia Pacific. And in Singapore, I can build a network in a matter of five minutes. So let's say I want to build a network of four, two servers. So I go to EC2. 
and I'm going to launch an instance. So like launching instance, like purchasing a computer, a server, computer server, for example. I can choose the operating system that I want. So let's say from the marketplace, I want to buy, I want to look for something called WordPress. I want to build a web, Word, uh, WordPress blog. And I will choose the server type. Now, this server type is like purchasing the different type of server. You can buy a server like uh, with two CPU, three, uh, four MB, four gigabit of memory, or uh, 10 gigabit of memory. Totally up to you. So I'm going to choose a t2 dot micro t2 dot micro general purpose server. Gives me one CPU, one uh, one uh, gig of memory. And I'm going to go to next where I'm going to say I want two instance. So two instance means I want two server that I want to create. And I will choose the, uh, the data network. You know, this is all something you'll learn if you take the classes. And then click on add storage where I want to spend the uh, define a hard drive, which is 20 gigabit of storage. If I click on uh, next, add text, uh, I will not worry about that. The security, uh, what port is allowed, and I'm going to start review, and then I'm ready to launch my program. And as I am launching them, it's going to ask me, do you do you want uh, to create a new key? I will say create a new key called AWS Seminar. Okay, I save the key. And I saw a launch instance and I have a, a, a data center with two computer. That's it. Didn't even take you less than uh, more than five minutes, did it? Of course, your job is to do this plus maintain those servers, customize it, secure it, uh, update it, upgrade it, sh taking it down, reinstall it, moving from one data center to another data center or allow servers from multiple data center to communicate there are a lot of things you can do within just from these web interfaces and that is my friend what aw power of aws is so it is extremely important that you understand the concept that if you understand the benefit of it you will see why company might end up moving all to aws and as you can see the server is running but it's still initializing as we go along through now, it might take about a couple of minutes for the servers to initialize properly. And at that moment, I should be able to access them if I want to. All right. So if I highlight this, you'll see a bunch of information that AWS save. And to access this, I will be using this address, website address. Or I can use this IP address. These are public and these are my private information. Our job as an AWS engineer is to customize this or enable certain feature and, and disable certain feature depending on what we need. So right now we're not going to go to details on that. I just want to do, I'm just waiting for the server to come up so that I can show you how it will work. And while I am doing this, let's take this IP address right here. Copy this IP address. Let's say we go to google.com. IP address locator. And what I want to do is that I want to go to IP location. And I put that IP address in there. Say find. And you see how it tells me that region for that IP address is from Singapore. And currently, if I want to find out where I am actually sitting, Let's say I want to say, what is my IP address? This is my current IP address. Okay, if I say click, it tells me that I am in Toronto. You see that? So I'm sitting in Toronto building a data center for Singapore. How, how easy is that? I don't, I, don't, I don't have to fly, although I love to fly Singapore a lot, but that's, that is another argument. So I'm going to assist done. So now I'm going to go to that IP address or the URL. I will op open the web browser, paste it there. And I have a blog, hello world. And that's what you are going to do. So as an as AWS engineer, of course, there's more than that, but just to give you an idea. All right.
And the question is, is the AWS career is for you? Well, first of all, do you want to make money? Because average salary for a solution architect is called $125,000. Most MBA guys don't get that. Most, most master degree in science or even get that for, until they are there for like probably 10, 15 years. But with AWS, you can reach, reach the, within three to five, five years. Why, would in, why, why is it not career for you? Of course it is for you. The question is, do you have what it takes to get, achieve that? Ever a national uh, salary in USA, for, uh, sorry, uh, in USA, yeah, it's about $152,000 a year. That is a huge salary range for someone who spent less than $10,000 of, of study and less than one year to get $150,000. There's a serious threat to universities and colleges. So we already talked about this slide. Now, how do you prepare for AWS? Now, to prepare or planning for a, um, a career, you got to have a plan. So I have created a, a plan called uh, OPA system based on Tony Robbins um, time management. What OPA means is that you need to understand what you, your outcome is. What is it that you're trying to achieve? You want to become an AWS certified. You want to land a career that pays $75,000 to $120,000 a year. That is your outcome. That is what you want to that is That is what you want to achieve. But why? You need to ask yourself, why do you want to achieve that? Well, first of all, you achieve that because you want to provide a better life for your family. You maybe are looking to achieve this type of career, have a financial freedom or travel the world and you know, become a butterfly, be, drive a better car or fly first class or send your kids to private schools. Whatever your purpose is, you got to understand if you don't have a proper understanding of what, what, why you're doing this your motivation to do that may not be as good as if you knew why you're doing that. So once you understand your purpose, then you create a list of action that you need to take. Get training, prepare for certification, get hands-on lab done, do a volunteer job, schedule for content delivery, automate your content posting, share knowledge, and then build resumes and ultimately find a job. So you need to have a proper plan. So I use outcome, purpose, and action called OPA system, followed by which is based on Tony Robbins time outline to create a visual identity of what I want to do. And that is, of course, have a clear picture of your purpose. So uh, what do, should you do self-study or classroom training? That all depends. Some people like to do classroom training, which are trained by industries ex expert. For example, I am one of the trainer and I have developed books that people spend half of their salary to buy. I have people who are industries expert engineers making $150,000 and doing AWS. That's one, that's a huge not pool of knowledge that you can pull uh, you can learn from. Uh, in a classroom training, you have a team collaboration that teaches you how to work together in a team. You can share knowledge you can practi do practical lab as a team, you build a network connections. You have you get a work experience by working in the environment, and you get to work with a project that sometimes we offer. But disadvantage is that it does cost you a lot more money. Self study, you uh, is cheaper, of course. You do it on your own time. No one may not, may not, may be there to help you if you get stuck. You may not get enough support on time. You may not get work experience to show and you may not be motivated. So that's the biggest, biggest problem, being motivated to do it on your own. So why voice bootcamp for AWS training? Well, why not? We're an international brand. We provide, we have published 10 books that no other school in Canada has it, even, even remotely close to this, from $700 to $1,800. We have worldwide schedules, so you get to join any schedule you want. We, you get to retake any of our courses for free for after two years. Hey, you never become an expert on one thing by just doing that thing only once. You need to repeat that. We provide you that option. You get to join online. So if you're in a Mississauga and you don't want to travel every day, you get to join online if you have to. We provide a mentorship because we help you focus on your career and pull you together to ensure that you succeed. Because if you succeed, who are you going to refer 
your next your best friend or your colleague or your brother or sister to to us it's a simple math job search assistance via personal branding very powerful tool of how do you find a job and ability to enhance your communication because you are going to work with us in our environment we provide training to companies like ford usa Tor on toronto hydro u.s army navy why wouldn't you be training with us we have what it takes to help you succeed look at some of our product these are our self-study materials that are purchased most recently you see that may 20th 700 800 dollar may 20th uh for 1200 dollar these are people from france who purchased this same guy who purchased twice in the same day why would anybody spend their hard-working money buying a product from us if we have nothing to offer valuable nothing to offer find one school in canada who can offer who can compete with that here is example from South Korea purchasing uh, $800 product from Hong Kong purchasing uh, a $1,200 product. These are all self-study materials. Why would anybody spend that much from India, from Kerala purchasing $800 product? That's like off of either not if not full a half of their salary. Some of the people in India. So value that we can offer can change your life that's why people want to buy our book so how does voice bootcamp help you find a job well traditional job placement is what it's like you know build a resume do some mock lab submit your resume that's it that's the best you know, traditional most people does but what we do voice bootcamp is different because we realize that you are the product that you're trying to sell to customer so you are the product so our job is to show you how to market your product and what we're going to do we're going to make you a, a brand uh, uh, we're going to make you a brand so we're going to help you learn how to become your own personal brand by sh making you share your content everything that you learn we're going to ask you to share it with other people around the world we're going to ask you to post that information on google page on social media it is important that you post everything that you learn on your social media because it creates an online presence and when you do that your job so your job posting at various website will look ultimately those social media by in, by intentionally or unintentionally and then they will know read about the stuff that you do see if you if you're someone who doesn't have experience then you have to show what you're passionate about by doing all these extra activity all the projects that you've done all the content that you're sharing all the video that you upload of, of, your, of yourself sharing your knowledge on youtube will help company understand that you are passionate about this pro technology see if i am looking for someone desperately i will look at person with the right attitude but not necessarily the person with uh, you know too much experience because I can teach you skills but I cannot teach you an attitude so it's important that you have the right attitude for finding a job we're gonna help you with video marketing we're gonna your presentation will be uploaded to YouTube content sharing your post your knowledge your, that you learn on social media we're gonna train you how to market yourself while you sleep we're going to help you develop eye-catching resume that are artificial intelligent uh, uh, proofed because these days all the resumes are being scanned with some sort of artificial intelligence we'll help you with interview do mock interview and videotape them so that you can see yourself how you interview we're going to help you connect with the industry expert because some of our in some of our instructors are industry expert we're going to help you create a plan a monthly plan that which day you're going to post what which day you're going to post what on your social media so that you can create a very engaged online presence you don't want to pay post the same thing over and over so once we have this uh, planned out uh, we're going to show you how to schedule them repeatedly so that you can post all your content automatically for free of charge in most cases for free of charge it will help you market yourself we're gonna uh, help you with the right 
headline so that you know that how to grab the attention and then at the end of that post we're gonna say hey guys if you are looking for someone in AWS I am available for a contract or full-time opportunity so that other people will know that you are looking for a job when you do all this you can type your name on Google and you'll see all information about you all about you so the recruiters when they post uh, something on Google uh, searching for your name to see what comes out they might see all the positive thing that you have done that's how you fight the job search in this generation things has changed your Facebook will become your primary job search capability so what do we offer we offer a complete AWS training package that are 10 courses remember individual you cannot become a, 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 a you cannot get a hundred thousand dollar job with the 30 hours of training you need to have a complete package so we are looking at from beginner course very beginner for people with zero experience we're talking about introduction to virtualization and then slowly take you to step all the way to the advanced level these 10 courses are included in this package of seven thousand five hundred dollar if you individually take them it will cost you twelve thousand dollar twelve thousand dollar yes why because just this course alone see this course right here Cisco go to global knowledge one of the largest training provider in the world look at how much they're charging five thousand seven hundred ninety five dollar for one course we're giving 10 courses for seven thousand five hundred dollar and if you register for the whole package we will give it to you for five thousand four hundred ninety five if you register by May 31st 2019 you're getting half of this all the courses for free for price of one it is unbelievable and the first five students who sign up before May 31st will get one additional Cisco courses but this is only for this particular week so anyway I hope you find this information you have no reason want to not to get started whether you started with us or someone else doesn't matter so what is your excuse It's too expensive really you spend half you spend fifty thousand hundred thousand dollar buying a car you spend you uh, buying your house where you do not want to invest on your in yourself you don't love yourself enough come on you can't say that it's too expensive it's five hundred dollar a course for God's sake five thousand for you know it cannot does not have to be expensive you have no money hey drive a uber drive uber eats go get a part-time job at McDonald's go, go get a job at a security guard at night next text next six to eight months tell your family that you're not gonna see them every day because you need to invest in you so that you can help them in the future this is a good time to use your credit card if, if, if there's ever a good time to spend your credit card is in your education because you know you will get that return high high enough to pay off everything you live far well, it's like Mrs. Aga join online can find time seriously wake up two hours early if you have to stop uh, all the extra time that you spend on a you know on social media or going to certain uh, family we have gathering don't go to any family gathering for the next six to eight months until you become a successful no IT background absolutely no problem because we give you the introduction course for free we will help you slowly got become an AWS engineer you're too old you're never too old my friend learning should never be a, a, a timeline it should be until you die I'm honestly running out of excuses now to tell you what else excuses you can come up well you cannot win a jackpot or if you're not willing to put some nickels in the machine so go ahead and invest in your knowledge if you have any questions feel free to contact voicebootcamp.com you can visit our website at www voicebootcamp.ca and there you'll find all our AWS training packages and the career based AWS training packages if you do not want to take the all uh, 10 courses you can take individual courses they start from $1200 per courses you will pay a lot more if you do uh, individually than if you were to do the packages next package starts our next course will start on June the 13th uh, 15th we have Cisco courses 
and you can also look at our schedules coming online if you have any questions call us at this phone number 647-846-8157 or you can click on request for information to have us contact you thank you for listening to the seminar and i hope you found the information to be very useful have a good day gentlemen